going to talk about is uh, there's a huge misconception about knee down on a motorbike, knee dragging or whatever you want to call it. Uh, the idea of knee dragging is not to hang, literally to, to you know, lean the bike over at stupid angles. You know, you want to keep the bike as upright as possible, getting the, you know, in a, in a certain body position so that you know you've got more grip with the tire you know on the road not on the edge of the tire you always hear about chicken strips you know oh you know you've got these chicken strips so what the more chicken strip you have on the tire the more the less risk you know you're leaning the bike over like this you know you want to be like this you can knee drag at angles very very low angles you don't need to be leaning off you know ridiculously yeah if you're a motor gp rider or a british superbike rider or whatever fair enough you know they have slick tires you know completely different ball game anyway but i just want to say you know get pick a roundabout try a roundabout you know just make sure the roundabout is clear make sure that you know there's no uh, gravel on the roundabout because you can easily get caught out I've been caught out before myself. You know, 360 the roundabout. I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna get my knee down in the car, but I'm just telling you, you know. Uh, yeah. So pick a, you know, pick, you know, pick a gear. Get in the third gear. Don't you don't want to second, third gear. You don't want to be too snatchy on the throttle. You know, I'm not a roundabout now actually. So the speed needs to be about 25, 30 mile an hour, which is this. So all it is, you can drag in it at this speed. Not a problem at all. Not a problem. Literally, 25, 30 mile an hour. Get your body position right. Look into the, look into the roundabout. Look into the roundabout. Look into the corner. You know? That's all you've got to do. Look into the corner. Keep looking, keep looking. Keep constant speed, 25, 30 mile an hour. But you don't want to be shuffling your body. You don't want to be shuffling your body. You don't want to be shuffling your body about when you're in mid, you know, mid 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 corner because that'll just unsettle the bike. I'm no expert, but I've learned from my mistakes on this. You know, you can try very hard, too hard, to achieve this. Just take to practice, you know. Practice. Um, it's not hard to do. It's not hard once you get the, the method. You know, it's, it's very easy. But you don't need mad lean angles to do it. You really don't. You really don't need mad lean, lean angles to do it. Literally, I don't know, 30, 35 degrees lean, lean angle. You know, at the most. If you've got three quarters of an inch of a chicken strip, whatever you want to call it, on your tyre, that's fine. It doesn't mean to say you're not going to get your knee down, because you will. It's very easily done when you know when you do the, get the right method. So as you're coming up to the roundabout, you get your body in position. So you get your body in the right position. And I'll demonstrate this on the bike. I just wanted to give you an overview. It's very easy, not easy for me to talk. Uh, Know, like, like this way in the car but yeah I'll demonstrate it and I'll show you and what I can eat what, what I can also do is I can overlay some lean angles in, in, in the video so you can see you know we want minimal minimal lean angle you don't want to be hanging off the, the bike ridiculously though that's you know we don't want to be doing that that's dangerous but that'll all become clear so yeah speak to you soon